Four frat boys hatch a scheme to fleece the flock. Is it worth watching? Find out when I look at Believe Me on this week's Indie Christian Review. We Christians can be very gullible sometimes. I'm sorry, there's no other way to say it. We seem to excel at the innocent as doves part, but we really lack in the wisest serpents department. Don't believe me? Take a look at your Facebook feed real quick and count how many alarmist or downright bogus political articles are on there. The onion.com. What are you talking about? All this stuff looks true to me. If that's the case, I hate to break it to you, but... Like it or not, the reputation does precede us, both inside and outside the church, which makes the story of Believe Me really hit close to home. College senior Sam discovers his scholarship has expired just weeks from graduation. Not willing to take time off from school and jeopardize his plans for going to law school, he convinces his roommates to help him start a fake charity for building wells in Africa and use it to swindle money from gullible Christians. After the first successful fundraiser, the group is approached by Ken, director of the second most impactful ministry in America, who offers them the chance to tour with his ministry and raise even more money. Uh, for the ministry, of course. Of course, since Sam and the gang aren't actually Christians, they have to take a crash course in Christianese so they can blend in long enough to last through the two-month cross-country tour. This, of course, leads to some, I thought, hilarious observations on American church culture. Everything from hand-raising techniques to how we pray. Similar to that Tim Hawkins sketch, come to think of it. Father, Father, you are Father, we come to you, Father, Father, just, just, Father, Father, just, 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 Father, Father. The message of the film is really twofold. The more obvious, of course, is about being authentic and really knowing what it is that you believe and being willing to do the right thing even if there's harsh consequences. But it's also a more subtle jab at the shortcomings of modern church culture. For instance, one of the people with the real ministry is a pretentious worship leader who acts like the worst kind of rock star. And even the director of the ministry is really more concerned about keeping the ministry's reputation intact, even if it means he has to turn a blind eye to Sam's shenanigans. There are very few innocent characters in this movie on either side, which I thought was fantastic. It's far too often in Christian movies that we fall into the trap of black hat, white hatting our characters. The Christians are always the good guys, and if they do have flaws, they're usually internal character traits that only affect them and they're usually the victim of the evil non-Christians. It's refreshing to me to see a movie that is ultimately pro-Christian be brave enough to shine a spotlight on us for the shortcomings that we really do have. You can't grow if you don't know how you need to improve. The movie is very well made. Some of the minor characters do come across as the typical wide-eyed, naive, super spiritual Christian, and there are a couple gaps in the plot towards the end that you kind of have to accept and move on. But overall, this is a well-made movie with great acting, a well-told story that I would really recommend with a caveat if you have issues with foul language. The movie is rated PG-13 for language and alcohol content, so if that is a stumbling block for you, be aware. Stumbling block. <laughs> Even I'm not immune to Christianese. <laughs> so, to break it all down, I'd rate the acting and believe me out of five, hands down. The story's going to be a four because of the aforementioned plot gaps. Production values are a solid five as well. Overall, I'd rate believe me a four out of five. This movie is definitely worth watching and I highly recommend it. You know, I would put this movie in the same category as the documentary Lord Save Us From Your Followers, which had a huge impact on me and how I strive to live out my Christian life now. What about you? What's a movie that has really shown a light on a flaw that you have in your life or in your faith that really helped you put it in perspective and work through it? If you're watching this anywhere besides IndieChristianReview.com, head over there, leave a comment, and let me know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and consider becoming a patron on Patreon at patreon.com slash storyteller. Until next time, may God bless you, and may God bless independent Christian films. Thank you.